Indonesia is planning to expand the Tolo wind farm in South Sulawesi, with construction set to start late next year. New phases will add about 130 megawatts of capacity, supporting the government's goal of increasing renewable energy in the national mix. But as Saif Bar Ismail reports, Indonesia's ability to harness its vast wind potential remains limited. Indonesia, the world's largest archipelagic nation, has vast coastlines, including those in Genoponto Regency, South Sulawesi. Its open coasts offer abundant wind resources for renewable energy generation. About six kilometers inland from the coast lies the Tolo Wind Farm, which began generating green electricity in 2019. There are 20 of these giant turbines in the Tolo wind farm spread across an area of 60 hectares. These turbines have a combined capacity of 72 megawatts. They can generate more than 268,000 megawatt hours of clean electricity capable of supplying power to some 320,000 households. The wind's kinetic energy or the energy of moving air causes the turbine blades to spin. The blades are linked via a shaft to a direct drive generator, which converts the rotational energy into electricity. The electrical power flows through cables inside the tower to a transformer at the base. The transformer increases the voltage, allowing the electricity to be transmitted efficiently to the wind farm's substation. Low wind kita manfaatkan, maksimalkan untuk melakukan proaktif pekerjaan pemeliharaan serta pengadaan-pengadaan spare part agar ketika menjelang high wind semuanya sudah selesai dipelihara, di maintenance sehingga produksi kita dapat maksimalkan selama high wind. Renewable energy projects like the Tolo Wind Farm also require substantial upfront investment. The Asian Development Bank partly financed the project with a $56 million loan after considering several factors. There are a lot of things that we look at, but maybe three uh, large kind of categories of buckets of factors. The first is the long-term viability and bankability of the project. The second point I think related to that is, of course, the technical soundness bringing in the proven technology, and then thirdly is the environment and the social safeguards. To build access roads and turbine sites, land was procured from residents across eight villages. Samra, one of the affected residents, sold part of his land for an access road and said the process went smoothly. Alhamdulillah, semua masyarakat merasa nyaman karena bisa dibeli dengan lahannya dengan harga yang maksimal. Kalau tidak ada surat tejual belinya, kan bisa diambil alih sama masyarakat. Ini alhamdulillah semuanya tidak ada kendala karena dibeli secara cash supaya tidak ada tuntutan di kemudian hari. Jadi enak sama masyarakat supaya tidak kacau tak, tidak kacau sama perusahaan. The Tolo Wind Farm is expected to expand in the coming years with PLN, Indonesia's state-owned utility company, issuing a tender for its next phase. In the event we are successful and subject to PLN timeline, uh, we hope that uh, we can start construction perhaps uh, end of 26, early 27. So this one is very much in play. Yeah. We figured because there is a development in turbine technology, we are thinking maybe around 8 to 10 turbines. Uh, maybe the size of the turbines would be between 6 to 7 megawatt each. Indonesia's wind energy potential is about 150 gigawatts, but it currently generates only 150 megawatts, a fraction of that. Experts say a key challenge is the slow expansion of transmission grids to support renewable energy growth. This is the problem because build the project itself maybe require like between three to four years, but building the grid could take longer. That's why you need to ensure that you can build grid on time. So when these wind projects are ready to be connected to the grid, the grid is there. And this is where one of the Achilles hills <laughs> that currently we have in our uh, electricity planning system. Indonesia's renewable energy push is gaining momentum, but progress remains slow compared to its vast potential.
As projects like the Tolo Wind Farm grow, the challenge will be ensuring infrastructure and investment keep pace to help blow away the nation's energy problems. Saifulbari Smile, CNA, Jenaponto, Indonesia.